Hello and welcome to a very fresh episode of Frankly Speaking and joining me today is Mr. Kapil Sibyl. What should I call you? Legal Eagle, just an, Rajya Sabha member. Just an ordinary Parliament. guy who wants to talk to you. Lovely to catch up with you Mr. Sibyl but uh, what do you think about the current controversy that's raging over the uniform civil code? I think it's a thoughtless exercise. Why would you say that? I don't know what the proposal is. Can you tell me? What do you mean by uniform civil code? What is to be uniform? Are all customs to be uniform? As you know that under Article 13 of the Constitution, custom is law. So will customs be uniform? Will you remove the HUF? HUF applies only to Hindus. HUF, in fact, uh, uh, there's a distinction between self-acquired property and ancestral property. So are you going to remove HUF? There are billions of people, Hindus in particular, who do business as HUF, who hold agricultural land as HUF. What do you do about Goa? The Portuguese in Goa, the laws in Goa. A Goan, for example, if he's above 30 and doesn't have a child, can marry again. We're going to abolish that. What do you do about the Northeast? We don't have a proposal. So what is this behest about? The behes is probably an initiation of the debate and the issues which has been put on the back What are the issues? I'd Come like on. to know from you. Please tell me one issue that the Prime Minister has raised. One issue, just one. I don't want more. Let's talk about gender parity. Great, must have it. Of course, I am for, for it. But is that what, the, what this is about? Should he has that not talked, be a starting point? But he has not said it. You are saying it. Navika is not the mouthpiece of the Prime Minister of India, so far I hope. So you are Certainly it. not. The Law Commission has also put out a Law Commission in, paper. Law Commission in 2021 said it should never be put into practice. That's the Law Commission's report of 2021. Men change, ideologies change, positions change, politics changes, and the Law Commission changes. Change is the constant of I life. I agree entirely. So, Therefore, so there another dispensation will change this also. That's not the way country should go forward. That's not what the constitution makers in the constituency assembly want. Do you know what, what happened in the constituency assembly debate and what Ambedkar ji said? He said that, look, in the 1937 Shariat Act, uh, it was brought into force by law much before the Hindu uh, Marriage Act came and other law, Hindu laws came, much before that. It was not made applicable. What he said was that the 1937 Shariat Act was applicable only to those people who voluntarily accepted it. Optional. Right, optional, right? So if you really want to have a Hindu code, a, a, a uniform civil code, then maybe that's the way to go, right? First have a consensus, talk to all stakeholders. There's been no talk for the nine years, there's been no talk. Two months can't sort of bridge the gap and there's no talk even with stakeholders. Stakeholders means community leaders. Stakeholders doesn't mean political parties. Community leaders, community leaders of various, not just religious leaders, non-religious community leaders. What about Adivasis? What about their customs? See, so nobody's talking about it. So you, you have a debate without a subject matter. This is the problem. But my point to you is, you're an erudite man, you're a, uh, a legal powerhouse. Uh, is there need in the current day society in 21st century to look at some of these uh, antiquated customs and uh, beliefs and, and bring about some amount of parity? For example, the inheritance law. And, and I'm, not, I'm not denying that it should not be done for, uh, you know, the... HUF, of course it should be changed uh, uh, in keeping and in consonance with other laws in other communities. Of course, uh, you know, it should apply to tribals. It should, uh, there is a need for something like this. But certainly, certainly when the political reaction to this comes out as up Muslimano ko target kar rahe hai. Do you think that is also fellish? First of all, I don't think this is an issue because I don't have that proposal. I think the opposition is also jumping the gun. Why, would, why should the opposition react to something which is missing, which is a subject matter which is missing? 
<laughs> right? So I don't know why the opposition doing, is doing this, why people are opposing it. You can't oppose something that is not before you, and you can't support something which is not before you. So you are saying uh, this is premature, uh, the kind of positions that no, are no, being No, it taken. is done for a political purpose. Ki bhai, 2024 is coming. Okay, right? Now, if you have to do something, you have to do something, you have to do something, you have to बाकी लव जिहाद वो सब तो हो गया अब कुछ ना कुछ तो मुद्दा ढूंढना है ना तो ग्राम मंदिर बनेगा इन जनवरी ठीक है एंड देन यूनिफॉर्म सिविल कोड दिस डिबेट विल गो ऑन पीपल विल टेक साइड्स एंड देन देयर विल बी पोलराइजेशन देयर विल बी इलेक्ट्रल बेनिफिट दैट्स द ओनली पर्पस अदरवाइज यू वुड फॉर 9 इयर्स यू शुड हैव हैड अ फुल discussion but for nine years there for for um, decades there has been no consensus on the ram mandir uh, you know that has been sorted uh, through the courts 370 uh, you know was an issue that was pending for ever so long uh, has been attended don't maybe ask, now it's you see there is not it's, don't ask me views on 370 how it was done in what manner it was done i don't want to get into that controversy we're on the subject of the uniform civil court Okay, let's not stick ourselves to the Uniform Civil Court. Now I want to, and this is the question I asked you, I want to know from the Prime Minister, from the Ministers, what is the proposal? If it is equality for women, gender equality, I'll support it. I think political parties should support it. But sure, what's the but proposal? They... I don't know. First, this must be a proposal. Will they mean you're now assuming that that's the proposal? I doubt it very much. What about much. polygamy? I don't know. Let, let, let that be abolished. My three, my three uh, marriages Karats. in Karats in Gujarat should be abolished. So let it be a proposal, no? I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. So you're saying this is just political polarization, nothing to it? Either I should have answers to my question, or the only conclusion is political polarization. Then, then let me ask you, in the 50s, within five years of independence, when the Hindu laws and the Hindu code came in, was that also done for polarization or for political it purposes? Back. It was taken back. It was not implemented. Nehru, Nehru introduced it, rejected by conservative Hindus. So all right. I mean, that's part of history. It's OK. And let me tell you another thing, something very interesting that you perhaps don't know. Maybe I'll tell you this. What did ask Prime Minister, what did Gowalkar say about the Uniform Civil Code? Gowalkar concluded in an interview with a warning. I firmly believe that uniformity is a pointer to the downfall of nations. It's not me, it's Gowalkar. Interview published in uh, Organizer on August 3, 1972, part of the volume on Guruji. So then section 44? Section 44 is an endeavor. And the endeavor should go on for 75 years? I'm not years. saying that. I'm just telling you what Gowalkarji said. I am not saying it. I, it's not my view. It is, it is the party to which the Prime Minister belongs, his Guruji's view. Now, if he wants to say that, look, I do not agree with Guruji, that is also fine. That's a freedom of expression, right? He doesn't want to agree, he doesn't want to agree. But he should say so. That is why I say it is only politically motivated. In fact, he said that I want diversity. He says, in fact, diversity is the one that should be embraced. I say the issue might surprise you and many others, but this is my view, and I must speak out the truth. Harmony and uniformity are two different things. For harmony, uniformity is not necessary. There have always been limitless diversities in India. In spite of this, our nation has remained strong and well organized since ancient times. For unity, we need harmony. They have converted harmony to hate. That's what they have done. But See, this is Gowalkar. This is not me. Harmony to hate, uh, democracy is dying. These are the expressions. Not expressions. This is true. What has happened in, in Manipur? Let's not talk of expressions. What happens when somebody, an ordinary, uh, you know, uh, defenseless person is asked to say, you, you say this loudly? Yeah, that, that's love, that's harmony. Then uh, what uh, the Congress in Karnataka does for a cartoon, uh, they put... Uh, I am not, I'm not a congressman. Okay. I'm not a BJP person. You are asking me my views. I'm giving you my views. And the subject matter is what? The Uniform Civil Code. Okay, so then let me ask it differently. When 
political parties who talk about mohabbat ki dukan and how mohabbat uh, should be spread love should be spread and they actually support free speech uh, they uh, end up going and putting uh, charges against uh, another party uh, person uh, for a cartoon or a meme that is put out where break india forces is there see see i see i am not in support of any of this these are aberrations that happen in the history of a nation political parties are not uniformly good okay there is no uniformity even within political parties forget about uniform civil code right there is no uniformity in life do you see uniformity in nature not at all you don't know so if and they are in harmony so diversity in fact is consistent with harmony you want to change it to uniformity then gowalkar ji told you the consequences but let's let's look at and i'm looking at it uh, in a limited way for a 21st century girl in one community she can get she can be married off the minute she attains puberty in other parts uh, of the country and other laws that apply to other girls there is a minimum age of 18 so i want to ask you is a girl mature enough to be married off at well, i ask you this question do you know that within the hindu community uh, all these things happen much before uh, the age of 17 all these things happen that is like saying that's that that's custom that's custom nobody says anything about it it's illegal but it happens it happens but the law cannot protect them. but no no but the law is not doing anything about it either you if you want you want a law then you implement it but you want to implement it there so let's be, see let's, let's see. All, all this these examples i'm going to take us anywhere i am not for the uniform civil code i'm not against the uniform civil code i just want to know what is this uniform civil code but that is like saying uh, you know there is the ipc uh, yet uh, no, no 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 ipc has specific sections what are you saying no so or robberies happen what ro robberies still happen what is, no, 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 one second. no 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 that's not the point what robberies happen people file a charge sheet people investigate file a charge sheet has everybody investigated all this is what's happening you know in himachal pradesh what the custom is i don't want to say it publicly so demeaning for women in way because land is very scarce I, i don't want to go into all this see this country is a granary where all multifarious plants grow and they are beautiful and what we need to do is wherever there is some weed that is coming in the way we should extract it and we should do it together so mr sibal my question to you is very precise 75 years do you think there is need for some reforms social reforms that are Absolutely. necessary the supreme court has nudged uh, the legislature the shabano case uh, subsequently in the sarla mudgal case in the john uh, yeah, that's right i know all this i know all this but that's good na the start a debate i'm not saying no but what's the subject matter again i come back to the same issue you can't tell me that the prime minister doesn't tell me that the government doesn't tell me that there is some law that is framed in uttarakhand which has absolutely nothing to do with uniform civil code why because they don't even know the constitution of india article 44 says that we shall endeavor to have a uniform civil code which will be applicable throughout the country now there can't be a state uniform civil code because it can't be applicable beyond the boundaries of the state but is one approach since it's a diverse country with different rituals in no, different no, the constitution does not allow it via the states and then bring it to the so center. then all bjp states will have uniform civil code non bjp states will have no civil code. what what is this are we making a joke out of this i mean, let's let's be serious navika you are such a mature journalist let's be serious on the issue please have a debate i would love to have a debate and a discussion and a thorough thorough discussion on this issue the constituent assembly had it and since then it's been on the back burner but every time you mention uniform civil court uh, it's always seen as an attack on the minority especially the muslims that's because you have not spelled out your reform process the uttarakhand uh, committee that is looking into this has spelled out some of the details i don't know and, i don't uh, know me you may be having it i have no idea it's not in the public domain 
It is. They did a, a, a little bit of a press conference. Oh, that's, yes. that's meaningless. You know, we must have the we must have the proposal. They say now this is now the basis for the central law. This is what I, I read in the newspaper. Well, I don't know what this this is, and on what basis you are saying this is the basis for this. See, I have no idea, and I read the newspaper every day. R raising uh, raising the marriage age for women to a uniform level is that acceptable? I don't know, but I mean, I, why would anybody say no to that? You know, just just to encourage education and financial independence, that would be a no, no, no. In fact, I, you must encourage education. In fact, this government has done very little on education, and I entirely agree with you. Okay, so then uh, registration of all marriages uh, uh, to uh, you know partake in the schemes of the government. Well, I don't that know, is one I, of the proposals. I don't know about that. How, how would the Sikh community, other communities, react to it? I have no idea. They should ask them first. No, but I mean to build a consensus. No, on build some a of consensus these? means you can't build a consensus by saying, "Look, I have decided, and therefore the consensus is built." What do you mean by consensus? Consensus is that we have a dialogue. I understand your point of view, you understand my point of view, get together and evolve. Do you think that can ever happen it can. in present day it politics? Can. It can, it should. That's what politics should. It should, should. I, I agree. But can it? Uh, get the Prime Minister to take the lead. He's such a wise man. He's given so much wisdom to the, uh, to the, uh, to the, in his address to the, uh, to, to, to in, in, in the United States of America. So if he can give so much wisdom to them, give some wisdom to us. Let us know what your mind is. Mr. Kapil Sibyl, now let me, let me ask you this. You've been in a political party for ever so long. We've known... 30 years. Uh, we, we've, we've known Mr. Kapil Sibyl, I think, since the beginning of my career, which is uh, roughly around that much time. Uh, we've known Mr. Kapil Sibyl as a congressman. Yes. Uh, today, you're not a congressman. At my, in my heart, I am. You are? Yes. I, because I believe in the ideology. I don't believe in individuals, but I believe in ideology. And I'm ideologically uh, Congress-oriented. I'm only ideologically opposition-oriented. Does it hurt you that you're not part of the no, Congress? No, no, I took a voluntary decision. Did it hurt you when, uh, you know, stones were thrown at your house and senior no, leaders came see, up? No, see, these things shouldn't hurt anybody. But they do. It didn't hurt me. Did I make a statement on it? No. No, no, it doesn't hurt you me. Why, why, would it, why would it hurt me if some miscreants, right, are asked to or come to the house and throw tomatoes or whatever? So be it. Are asked to. That is maybe, the... maybe. I didn't say they were. I said either asked to or come on their own. I, I'm very careful when I use that expression. What does it matter? It's a, just a matter of one hour, 60 minutes. I can't with 60 minutes keep my sanity uh, rather uh, disturb my sanity. So, so it doesn't bother you? No, no, no. no. I'm very happy where I am because I can now say the things that you couldn't earlier. That I couldn't earlier. So then, is there a difference uh, in the ideology of the Congress uh, versus the BJP in terms of freedom of expression? Oh God, please, please, now we can't don't ask. Puchh rahi hu, aapne kaha. Main aapko batata hu na. Ab main bol sakta hu. Kitna freedom hai BJP ke sansado ko? Ye aap jaanti ho, main bhi jaanti. Nee, par waha to nahi hai. Ye to aapne hamesha kiya. Nee, nee, nee. Nee, aapki ye position thi ki BJP mein nahi hai. Nee, nee. Ab aap keh rahe ho ki ab main bol sakta hu jo main chaahu. Kuch hota hai. Har ek political party. You forget about Congress. You tell me which political party, and this is really the problem in this country. And I tell you why democracy is flawed in India. If you go to any liberal democratic country, the President of the United States or the Prime Minister in the UK or the Prime Minister in other European countries actually seeks the support of the opposition to get their bills passed, right? Obama, to get his health care bill passed, supported, sought the support of Republicans, right? That is not considered to uh, be anti-defection. It's not, it's, they're not hit by defection. The flaw in Indian democracy is that if you are part of a party, you cannot say anything contrary to the line given by the party. The whip. Right? Whip, right? And you cannot... Uh, and the government cannot negotiate with individual members to vote for them. 
right? That's the difference between all democracies and India. And that's flawed. And it's been flawed forever. It's been flawed forever. Now I've been raising this issue from time to time. But very, you know, people don't listen nowadays. So, so you are saying freedom of expression is also limited across the political spectrum. Absolutely. Absolutely. Across. And then when a champion of freedom of speech and expression like yourself goes to court and represents the Kerala story and asks for a ban on the Kerala story, is that... I don't know. No, no. I, 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 incidentally, I wish I had that with me. If I tell you what that dialogue and that Kerala story is, you would want a ban. And that's why the Supreme Court kept it for final hearing. I didn't say ban. I mean, the court said, no, no, let it be aired. The court will now look at the contours of freedom of expression in the context of a cinema. So you're saying it should be limited? You were not seeking a ban, but you were seeking... No, freedom of speech is limited under the Constitution. It is limited under the Constitution. There is no such thing as freedom of speech. It is subject to all kinds of things. Defamation which you, on which you can lose your membership of parliament. That's the limitation okay, of so freedom then, of speech. So then let's come to that issue. Well, You've, uh, you know, the Congress party has called this as a manufactured case which is politically... It's truly important. manufactured. Truly manufactured. I mean, I'm not talking as a lawyer, not as a congressman. Or I have nothing to do with, 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 with my being in the Congress. I've been saying this in writing. The courts have given uh, no, their word. You know, you know, courts can give all kinds of judgments. Even Supreme Court can go wrong, no? ADM Jabalpur, you have a shining example. So, so, so even the courts is not is not really a, a response, really. That so is. So then, then what is the last resort for uh, taking anything as a given in this country? You know, we can question political decisions, we can de uh, question parliamentary decisions, we can question the courts. Uh, We're not questioning we courts. We are only saying some decisions may be flawed. I'm not questioning courts. Some so this is a flawed decision. You yourself, uh, in in a personal matter, have uh, uh, you know forced Mr. Arvind Kejriwal to apologize to you. It yes, was a defamation yes, case. Yes, yes. Uh, and and you were so here the Modi community did go to court. Why? One one second, one second. I don't want to enter into that merit because we are moving away from the Uniform Civil Code. I can I can have a separate discussion with you on this issue, and it'll be a very interesting discussion. Let me assure you, it has nothing to do with the Modi community at all. The First of all, there is no such thing as the Modi community. There are Modis. There are Modis, but there's no Modi community. Okay, so, so there so are then, Modis how, who might uh, the, now the persons who have been defamed. Why did they not file? You, I defame you. The, you will you belong, must be belonging to some community, Punjabi. So Punjabi community will file a case instead of you. No, so there is an individual who is a Modi and who filed. No, but who, who, what, what did he say about that individual? Nothing. He didn't say anything about that person who went to court. But he said that he is sare Modi chor kyun? He sare Modi he didn't say. When you read what he said, therefore I'm saying let's not enter into that. Now that requires some detailed discussion and thought. So let's move away from, move on to the next subject. Okay, so you, this is not an issue, UCC not a, a, an issue. No, no, I am giving you an answer. You have not provided me with any subject matter. If you did, I would certainly respond. So the subject matter uh, that has intrigued me as a political journalist uh, on, uh, you know, the ideology that you hold close to your heart, which is the Congress uh, ideology. What is that ideology today? No, it's the ideology of the Constitution that I hold to my heart, which is consistent with I mean, there may be flaws in the, in the articulation of that, but it's the ideology of the Constitution. That the Congress holds? Congress should. And if, it's, if there's an aberration, I criticize it. But, I mean, that's the ideology that I'm wedded to. That's the Constitution that the people of India gave to us. Was it difficult to distance yourself from the Congress after being there for 30 years? Of course years? it was difficult. Of course. And, and uh, did you have a conversation with yes, the I did. top brass? Yes. And? And I said that, uh, quite frankly, I said, if you don't need me, then there's no need for me to be there. There's nothing wrong with that. And they were very kind. I mean, they have, they, there's no animosity at all. I'm still, uh, you know, in, uh, friendly with them, and we exchange. You do meet them? Yes. Yes. You know, and, and quite frankly, I have a lot of affection for, for Rahul for, Gandhi. 
well, you know, let's not talk of individuals. I have a lot of affection for many people in the Congress Party, and I'm very close to them. And I, I will stand by them as and when any situation arises where I think injustice is being done to them. The Gandhi family? I will certainly stand if I believe that some, uh, some steps are being taken against them. I certainly am, which are unjust, I will stand. I will stand against any, any person against whom unjust. I stand, um, you know, you know me, half of the matters that I do, it is to fight injustice. And they had nothing to do with Congress. I mean, these are, whether it's Kappan or it's anybody else, or, you know, I always stand up. You were part of the G23 trying to push in some reforms. Uh, do you think the Congress is not prepared for reforms? You know, the G23 is history now, okay? Many of them are not part of the Congress now. Uh, two uh, leading lights, Mr. Sibyl, yourself, and Mr. Gulam Nabi Azad. That's correct. And uh, I was deeply disappointed. Not only disappointed uh, with the response, but also disappointed within the G23. There were divisions? They're bound to be, you know. They're all in, we are all individuals. Diversity. There's always, so they're bound to be. Nothing wrong with that, but Why I was disappointed. Why were you disappointed? Because we wanted a particular way to move forward. It didn't happen. It's okay. It's part of life. No, so out of the G23, you said you're disappointed with the G23. In the, within the G23. So within the G23, were there divisions as well? May, there have to be because there are different points of view. And uh, obviously, everybody So one side to, sold out the other? No, 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 no. Let's really see. Selling and buying is not something that, that I think. But it's a good thing. No, by selling and buying. But not this. But but the expression used by the Congress Party is mohabbat ki dukan. Almost as it is Oni chahiye, oni chahiye Trading of mohabbat. Not trading. Dukan kya karta hai? Nain, 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 nain. Don't, dukan means ke aap ao yaha aur baat chit karte hai aur ek dousre ko samajhte hai. If you don't understand the allegorical concept or statement behind it, it's not literal as you know. It's allegorical. Sometimes it's allegorical. Some, when sometimes you say Mohammed ki dukan, insaf ki dukan. Insaf ki dukan doesn't mean paise den len den mein insaf hoga. Nee, insaf ki dukan nahi hoti, phir wo institution hoga. Jo bhi hota hai na, dukan means ki insaf ki jagah hai. Haan, jagah. So that's allegorical. Dukan is not dukan. It's not trading. It's not? But you can interpret the way you want. It's not my interpretation. Okay. Uh, what do you think about the... Patna meeting, uh, you know, the opposition unity, how? See, I am a great believer that democracy can only survive if there is a strong opposition, right? The problem with people coming together uh, is that each of them are forces within the state in which they are present. Many of them do not have uh, footsteps beyond the state, right? The Congress party in terms of its numbers is not strong enough at this point in time. So opposition unity in this context can only happen if we present a new vision to the people of India, different from the vision of this government, right? Okay. To ensure that the people have an alternative agenda for tomorrow, right? And in the absence of that, I don't believe in a common minimum program, because common minimum program means bartering, right? No, we need a vision on which there can be no divisions, right? For example, give you an example. We should give free schooling. It is right to education is class eight, should be given class 12. Now, there can be no difference of opinion. So we need to therefore itemize issues for the future of India in terms of the future generations of India and what young people in this country want and present that to the nation, different from what this government has presented. Then only there can be opposition unity. Do you think uh, this meeting and the further meetings point towards I don't a know. vision of that kind? I don't know. I don't know. I wish, I wish this, this, this is discussed. And I hope to reach out to many of those, the leaders in the coming months. But um, Mr. Kapil Sibal, already after the first meeting, 
in the run up to the second meeting the venue has changed from shimla to jaipur to bangalore now uh, bengaluru the sounds a uh, sound and fury that you hear between congress and trinamool congress in bengal is uh, at another level where uh, adhiranjan choudhury has called mamta banerji a pakhandi virtually dk shiv kumar is uh, having his differences and uh, airing them uh, pretty openly against siddaramaiya uh, kejriwal and uh, uh, the congress have a difference of opinion on the ordinance and many other issues does this augur well for i don't know i think that that they have to get their act together and they have to come to terms with their different points of view on various issues and if they really want to stand up together as an opposition and give this country a chance right i think they need to um, uh, sit and uh, Uh, and have an agenda on the basis of which they can fight the next election in 2024 you have given me uh, some examples of negatives and you are right but uh, there is also a positive in this that at least the major parties in this country barring uh, one or two were there and mamta said in 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 clear terms that she will stand by the opposition together So anyway let's it's it's you know it's it's I'm asking you is it is it making. theoretically also possible because many of these parties are versus the congress at the state level can you have an existence that is different uh, no, at a national no, level that, that also not true if you look at let's talk of if since you're talking of particulars Rajasthan there is no issue Rajasthan there is okay Gujarat there is no issue okay Madhya Pradesh there is no issue no but uh, Arvind Kejriwal is going no no what Arvind Kejriwal he tried uh, you know in, in Karnataka see what happened okay so it's not an issue i'm just saying it's not an issue because they are not a force okay right all of south is not an issue all of south is not so you have concluded all of south of no. india most of north india well, i'm just saying kerala is an issue no what kerala doesn't matter whether cpm wins or we win we'll all be on the same side you won't When because it, there is a vigilance inquiry no, 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 against no, no, no. I, uh, the congress chief i i have not, I have not understood i didn't i have not understood what you're saying not, whoever wins the election whether it's the udf or the ldf they will be against the bjp that is fine uh, so but they are against each other it doesn't matter so we are in the next election we are in a parliamentary election no i'm just telling you the states where there is no problem the states where there is a problem and even for example even in telangana there is no problem what is the congress versus the brs uh, brs right and brs is not part of that meeting right so kerala in punjab in punjab there is a problem there is right? a problem in so kerala there is a problem no i don't think so but anyway so in fact 90% of uh, of india there is no problem yes 10 15% of india there may be a problem they'll resolve it now i'm giving you details since you asked the question so so i want to ask you where does mr uh, akhilesh yadav the party that has supported you uh, in your where does he stand because he's been saying hum 80 ki 80 seaten jeetenge which is the lok sabha elections is there room for congress i, I, don't, in I don't know i don't know what see let me not comment on what leaders say right i mean uh, i remember um, uh, amit shah ji going to bangalore going to karnataka and saying ki hum itni seatein jeetenge to to log kehte hain theek hai na to so ye rehne to this is all part of politics now let's see if they can get together and i told you uh, in what manner i think they should move forward i have nobody they are all political parties but i certainly will reach out you will reach out to, to them and and do you think this uh, patchwork of an opposition unity uh, will be a strong force uh, to challenge I, modi navika i don't know i mean i only hope i hope they are your experience i hope they are what, what do you see on the ground you don't know what happens you know in politics suddenly there is uh fevi call you know it brings them all together and as of now as, as of, of now, now it's 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 in the making i don't know so as it, of now the popularity of mr modi is that easy to challenge see i don't know if the popularity of mr modi has taken him that far i mean we don't know i mean he is popular there's no doubt about it but uh, at the best of times the political party won 36 37% of the vote but that's what is needed to win yeah you may not get that you may get yeah. 29% if you're in the opposition you would hope that yeah, certainly certainly i am in the opposition 
I'm with the opposition. I certainly hope that. <laughs> but, but you're saying it's still work in progress. Of course it's work in progress. I, I, I want to ask you, when uh, Mr. Rahul Gandhi goes abroad to the U.S., um, associates with people who are definitely taken a position which is anti-India, George Soros and Jamaat-e-Islami, the union minister uh, in, in the government actually came out and made those statements. Do you think he should be avoiding uh, sharing state yeah, with someone? One, these? I am not here to comment on what leaders of political parties As an do. Indian, how do you feel? No, even as an Indian, it is for him to decide what he should do, what he should not do. You're not violating any law, I think. And it's your concept of nationalism that is making you make that comment. His concept of nationalism may be different. Are there differences in the concept of nationalism? Yes, yes. Concept of nationalism, there's a great difference. Patri Islami. Patriotism, patriotism, there is no difference. See, you can be a patriot and not agree with your country and what it is doing. So you're not a nationalist, but you're a patriot, right? So that's the difference. So, you know, he may be meeting A, B, and C. I don't know who he met, who he didn't meet, why he met. It's not my job, nor can I comment on it. But I don't doubt his patriotism. I have no doubts about the patriotism of the citizens of this country. I have no doubt. Then why do uh, we have cases where some people are selling secrets uh, to... Uh, that's then, a, their aberrations happen. I mean, this, I mean, why do people... Then, then how do you well, give how do you, See, when I say most people in India are peaceful, then you'll ask me the question, why is this man committing no, a crime? You said, you said you cannot question the nationalism and patriotism, patriotism, of, any, yeah. patriotism of any Indian. Any Indian means any Indian who actually is patriotic. If he does something like this, sells secrets, he's not patriotic. And that, those are isolated examples. How many people have sold secrets to others in, this, in, the, so, in the history so of this Jamaat country? So, Jamaat-e Islami. Jamaat-e Islami. And, and people connected with Jamaat-e Punjabi, you have seen the scars of partition, the creation of Pakistan. You know, I mean, people in the north have felt that more. Would you, would you uh, actually associate yourself with people? I have represented the Jamaat in the Supreme Court. What do you say? As a lawyer? Or as a lawyer. Do, as a lawyer. Do, do you stand, as a lawyer, as a lawyer. Do, do you stand with them? I don't know. I'm not concerned with that. As a lawyer, I've stood by them. If they think that some particular issue, there is a level of injustice, I've stood for them. I'll stand for anybody where there is some level of injustice. But I don't think you should question Rahul Gandhi's patriotism. No question about it. No question. Politically, uh, do you think he should avoid such? That's not for me to decide. It's for him to decide. Would you? I don't know. I mean, that situation hasn't come. If you put me in Rahul's place, I may, I may not. And I'm not, I am not in that place, so why should I comment? You've never been this careful with your, with your words. Have you changed? I think that I have been more open to you in this interview than I've ever been to anybody else. Because this is about frankly speaking. That's correct. So, Mr. Kapil Sibyl, where do you stand today as far as you know, realistically, I mean, you've expressed a lot of hope that things should go this way, things should happen. I think Moji is in trouble. He is? Yes. And why do you say so? Because the, the ordinary man on the street, and I talk to people who are drivers of taxis, of uh, three-wheelers, people even in civil society who were wedded to the BJP, there is a change of mode. Now, whether, uh, you know, Amit Shah has said that they will get 350 seats, maybe they will, I don't know. But there is a, an undercurrent of dismay, of, of, of disappointment. Let's put it that way. I'm telling you my honest opinion. And, and do you think that disappointment, uh, when, when the people have to actually think of uh, making a choice, that is uh, something that they will expect the opposition coming together and resolving? I don't know about that, but that's why the UCC. That's why it the is the, the, the exactly. So that, that, that's the reason for the UCC that move away from that issue and come to power. What do you think about uh, the Tamil Nadu governor sacking Senthil Balaji? Shocking! Amnesty? Shocking! Shocking! He has no powers. I mean, in the Aru, uh, in the Arunachal Pradesh judgment, Supreme Court delineated the three areas of discretion of the governor, and beyond that, said there is no other discretion. 
and the three areas does not include this. And, and, and that order was uh, put in abeyance uh, within, within a few hours. Even the BJP there has, has protested. No, so it was put in abeyance. So what, do you, what would you call this? Uh, no, the governors just, overreach personally? No, no. See, the problem with governors today is that they are assigned a task. Which is? Which is to destabilize opposition elected governments. If, if that was the task, then why would the Home Ministry step in and put well, the this order is because in abeyance? Because the Home Ministry must have been told by the law officer that look, this is contrary to, to all canons of, of, of law and uh, the uh, judgments of the One court. would assume that if the Home Ministry had anything uh, to do with this uh, order being put out, uh, he would not have. I agree with you. Not so. Therefore, the governor acted on his own. The governor acted o on obviously. his own. Obviously. Otherwise, he obviously didn't even, he couldn't have consulted the advocate general of Tamil Nadu. <laughs> right? He should have consulted the attorney general or the solicitor general. Right? Yeah. He obviously didn't do that. But m many of these governors want to be more loyal than the king, no? So this is just an errant uh, governor there? Uh, lots of them. Lots of them. Yeah. They've always been? Well, not to this extent. There Thoda are some, some Lakshman. Thoda 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 Thoda. <laughs> These days you have to see things in perspective Absolutely. because I, I can remember Bhuta Singh at that time. I know. And, and you would remember. So things have happened in of the course, past as well. Of course well. they have happened. History always repeats itself in these matters. <laughs> so so there's, then, then, you know, at the end of the day there's no difference between the Congress and the people. I'm not talking of differences. I'm talking about my country. I'm not talking about politics. I'm talking about the future of my country. And, and how, do you, how do you propose to go ahead and, uh, you know, whatever you want for the country? Uh, I must also remind you that some in your party have, or, or your erstwhile party, had come out and said that you have never election, what do you know, what do you know, what do you objections in Congress? I have never won election. Jiti. Uh, Congress wale kehte the aap to district ka chunaav aap Lok Sabha jeet chuke ho waise pehle do baar jeet chuka do baar ha to fir ha par par ye criticism aapki erstwhile party ne kiya to theek baat hai na criticism to haq hai na aap ye aapka bhi haq hai par aap aap kya philosopher ho gaye ho sant ho gaye ho nahi nahi bilkul bhi nahi convert nahi karta no 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 bilkul sant nahi hu aap sab cheezon se upar ho main bilkul bhi sant nahi hu i am a heart uh, i i i i am in politics I understand politics. I am not the quintessential politician. That's a good line. Yeah. And, and uh, if in one line, let's do a rapid fire. If in one uh, uh, line I want to ask you, your impression of the Congress today? I think it's doing well, much better than before. Just because they've won two elections? No. It's that I think there is, people are also realizing that that's the only alternative in the future. Uh, what about, uh, let's look at... And it has a national uh, footprint. That's the other thing. And, and politicians, what do you think of Rahul Gandhi? Fine. He's fine. He's okay. He's okay? He's okay. He's and fine. why are you not in the Congress today? I'm not in the Congress much before, for a long time now. Almost a year. Long, a year is not a long time. a long time. time for me, it's a long time, not to be any political party. <laughs> What do you think of him? I mean, I, I, you think I, see, he's... see, look, look, Navika, don't en let, let's not enter into a debate about individual personalities. Okay? I, I don't think it's... That's fair. what politics is all no, about. No, 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 it's no. Have you ever does, heard... Does uh, Mamta uh, Banerjee have, have the have leadership you, have, have you ever heard me say anything about any politician, including the Prime Minister, about his personal qualities? I may be against his policies, but I have never commented on his personal quality. But I'm asking And I know a lot about a lot of politicians. But that's not that's not right. But whether somebody is capable well, of Well he is being obviously the Congress Party thinks he's capable. Who am I to say that he's not? Congress Party. It's not a rapid question, but you don't have to answer that question. Mamta Banerjee. Mamta Banerjee is fine. She's a great leader in her state. Uh, possible prime ministerial candidate? I don't know. How am I to say? Who's, who's going to be the prime ministerial It doesn't really Nidish matter. Kumar? It doesn't really matter as long as my country moves forward. I don't care. You may not care, but the country needs to country, know. Country, doesn't Hoda. need to know. In 2004, which country knew that Ruan Singh would be prime minister? 
or that you? which country who, who, who knew in the country what are you saying I mean, they, they, uh, they govern for... Uh, so we'll hurtle along and... Why, why hurtle along? along? The best years in terms of economic growth happened during those 10 years. Why hurtle along? Well, and India has been added to India. We've grown from a 2 trillion economy to what almost... It's bound to grow because you're 1.4 billion people now. Every new individual who comes, becomes an adult, has uh, earned something. So don't, let's see. So the growth that happened in the Manmohan Singh years is because of Dr. Manmohan Singh and the Congress no, party. Because but of the, the growth that happens now is no, not no, because you are talking of about GDP and I'm talking, you are talking about GDP, I'm talking about growth. There are two separate things. I talked about growth. You talked about GDP. How so else I, do you, it's two how different, two different things. GDP doesn't represent growth. It's the gross the domestic economic. product. Growth is it grew at 7.9 percent or grew at 8 percent. This, this government has never crossed any of those. In the worst times, uh, our our uh, uh, growth rates. Are these? You are not for the government. What do you mean? Are as in India? Are we all Indians? Okay. That's what you began. No, no, you, I thought you were talking about BJP. Uh, you know, no, our no. growth rate means our country's okay, growth rate. Good, huh? so, the BJP doesn't have a separate growth rate from the no, Congress no, no, party. No, no, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. When you said no, you're, you're, we were talking about Congress and you're, BJP, you're no? trying to make me trip. No, no, no I'm no. not going no, to. No, no, no. आपका जितना experience politics में आपका भी है ना? मेरा यहाँ है तो मैं इतनी जल्दी trip नहीं First of all, we're talking about growth rate. And the growth rate uh, during UPA years, as anybody would tell you, was much higher than the nine years of, of BJP government, of the NDA. COVID pandemic was not before, it was now. No, there was a whole uh, uh, meltdown. There was a whole global meltdown at that time, as you know. We, we passed through that. So, uh, so you still think uh, the performance of uh, the Congress government has been... Economic great. performance any day. Any and, day. and on scams, uh, we've heard. I don't know which scam are you talking about. No, that's zero. No, you tell me now. What is the scam? Which scam? Which 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 government? Which, take for example, 2G. You talked about court verdicts. What was the court verdict? The court verdict will be based on the evidence presented. And who presented the evidence? A lot of it during your time. Not true. Most of it during your time. Your time. Your time. Since you take my time, I take your time. <laughs> Kapil Sibyl, it's, it's wonderful to spar with you. Uh, we've spoken after a long time, but sparring uh, and, and speaking frankly suits you a lot. Thank we you. must uh, meet again uh, more often because as we hurtle towards another election, well, the diversity or the differences are going to come up even more, and it's always a pleasure speaking Thank with you. you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very, very much. Pleasure.